Welcome back. A former prison inmate in Oregon and a spiritual teacher have formed an unlikely friendship and out of that friendship came a recently published book. In today's Positive Vibes, I chat with them about how he helped to pull her out of darkness to light and how he says anyone can do the same for themselves. It's hard to believe it now, but just a few years ago, Isabel Sinclair was also hanging out in downtown Portland. Only back then, she was looking to score heroin. I lived in a shelter. I lived on the streets. Um, my parents wanted to come and help me, but I was very stubborn. I didn't want help. Isabel was enrolled in college at the time, but made it less than two months before she was caught with heroin on campus. In and out of treatment, she eventually ended up at the Coffee Creek Correctional Facility in Wilsonville. That's where she met spiritual advisor Stuart Perrin after signing up for his meditation class. She was this scrawny little kid, about 20 years old, 21 years old, uh, with incredible fire in her eyes. And I saw that this as an incredibly intelligent kid. Stuart doesn't live in Oregon, so his visits to the prison were sporadic. He says Isabel started contacting him. And then she started writing me these letters, and I started answering that we have 160 letters in here that we wrote to each other. Those letters resulted in a friendship and then a book called From Darkness to Light. It showcases the letters and shows the turning point for Isabel as Stuart taught her to build a system inside herself and a practice to connect to spirit. Without my practice, I do not think I would be standing here able to talk to you today because I I knew that that's what I needed to move out of the kind of hell that I was living in. Isabel is now a student at Reed College where she's on the student senate and she's working to raise money to get copies of the book in various prisons like Coffee Creek to hopefully help other inmates. I think it's an absolute blessing, like a miracle really, that when I was there I was able to connect with someone like Stuart. And I think for a lot of people there's, like I said, their own paths. Well, if you want to get a copy of From Darkness to Light or if you'd like to support Isabel's efforts to get copies in prisons, just go to our links on coin.com. Also, I did a recent Writer's Block podcast with Stuart Perrin. To hear that, go to the Coin6 podcast section under Special Reports. So, yeah, just a great example of someone who's really turned their life around mm -hmm. um, after they found something mm -hmm. that worked for them. So, yeah, appropriate yeah, name great. for that book, too. Yes, definitely. <laughs> yeah. I love the cover of that book, too. It's really cool. All yeah. right, very mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm.